Hey guys and welcome back to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to open a door using a door handle. So in a previous video I showed you how to just open a door like so, but this time I'm going to show you how to do it with an animation where the door handle actually goes down and up and then the door opens instead of it just opening like so. So let's get started. What we're going to want to do first is find our door static mesh that we've created. So I've made one specifically for this video which you can find a download link to in the description below. So what we want to do is go to our static meshes folder and then simply just drag and drop this 3D model in and make sure that you have auto generate collision on, import materials and import textures and then press import all. Now once it's imported let's close this error lock here and again I'm just going to move all these materials and textures into the materials folder that I've made just to keep it all organized. So once we've done that let's drag and drop these into the scene like so. What you want to make sure you do is have the door and the door handles as separate meshes like so and then just put them together in the scene. But you need to make sure that they are separate so you can move them individually as well. So I'm just going to put this in the door frame which I have made earlier and I'm also just going to scale it up so that it fits better. Turn off this snapping like so. And you also want to make sure that if you're using your own door you have the constraints point on this side so that when you rotate it, it rotates like a door on hinges. So I think that's good for that. Now let's get the door handles, scale them up as well. And to get them perfectly aligned, click the door, right click on location, copy, go back onto the door handles, right click on location and hit paste, and then just move them into the position that you want, like so. And there you should have your door. Yeah, that's not much, but it's just something that I threw together really quickly. Now once we've done that, let's put the door into the open position, and this is just as a reference, so we know where we want the handles to be. So I'm just gonna say I want it to open that far. So then let's click on the door handles, go to cinematics, add matinee legacy. Let's move on to this monitor and minimize it like so, so that you can still see the viewport. And then I'm going to have this animation last 4 seconds, so drag the red marker to 4, and also the green marker, and then let's drag the white bar, or the black box, back to the start of the animation. And then make sure that you reselect the door handles if it's unselected it like so, then right click in the tracks, add new em empty group, call it whatever you want, I'm just going to call it door handles, and then in that, right click, new movement track and then at the start here we're going to want to go and add another keyframe like so and then move it to however far in you want so I'm just going to put it zoom in and put it as 0.5 seconds in like so and then I'm going to rotate this down like that add a keyframe go to one second in rotate it back up and add another keyframe so what we've done there is that it's basically just going to go down and back up like you're using the handle. So if I just play that, there you go, you see it goes down. And now what we're going to want to do is make sure that we move it to the position where the door is going to be open. Now this one can be a bit trickier as it doesn't move with the door flush, but if you do it precisely enough it should look good. So instead of just doing one step there, I'm going to do two to make sure that it goes perfectly around like this. So I'll just remember where I want the door, close this to halfway and then move these to there. So toggle through with space and then just simply move them along like so. I'm just gonna close this for a second so I have a better view and just move them along. And then make sure that you rotate them as well to be perfectly aligned like so. You can change the camera speed up in the top right to make it easier. So I need to rotate it again and then just move it in, like so. Now the reason they're off the door like that is just because of the way I've scaled them up. They're not perfectly the same, so they're not gonna be perfectly identical. But to fix that, I can just scale the door up, but I'm not gonna bother with that too much now, as this is just for tutorial purposes. So once we've got them there, let's go back into the matinee, go to wherever we want this. So I'll, I'll say 2.5, so it's halfway between the end and where we've got that. Make sure that you have the door handle selected, and then you're gonna want to add keyframe again. And then let's rotate the door, into the fully open position, I'll have it like that, and then move these back over there as well. So I'll rotate them like so, and just simply move them over. And as you can see, it's already started doing the tracking like that, so that's where it's gonna go. So let's rotate them, and just move them into position. And then let's move this to the end, and then add another keyframe. So as you can see, it's gonna go around like that, which should hopefully follow the path of the door quite closely. So you see it's going to go like that. And now we can save that and close it like so. And it should take you back to here. 
and then we'll just do the same for the door, which is a much easier and simpler one. So just make sure you've got the door selected, go to cinematic, add matinee legacy, make sure you reselect the door again, right click in the tracks, add new empty group, call this door, then right click in that, go add new movement track, and then make sure that this is the same length. So we set it to four seconds. So I'll make sure that I put that on there as well and move the green up. And then the door handle started moving at one second. So that's where I want the door to actually start moving as well. So we'll just put that there. So we'll go to the start, add a keyframe where it is there, add a keyframe and then go to one second or wherever you started the door moving, add another keyframe and then go right to the end and move the door into the open position that you, cho uh, that you chose and then add another keyframe, play this and that's the door opening like so. So that's the animation sorted, now we just need to get it to play. So let's save this and close it and then go up to the blueprints and open level blueprint. And this is where we're going to be doing all the work for this. So as you can see I've already got this done for my previous door tutorial. So what we can do is just copy and paste that but change the matinee actors and these box triggers. But in case you didn't see that, I'll redo it. So you want to make sure that you have an interact hotkey, which if you don't have, go to edit, project settings, go down to input, and then create a new action mapping, call it whatever you want. I've got mine as interact and I've set it to E. So then we want to reference this, also right click and type in interact, and we get that there. And then before we do the box triggers, we want to actually add that box trigger in. So let's go back into the viewport, search for a box trigger up in the top left up here, like so, and just drag and drop it in. Change my camera speed back up. And then we can paste the location we put got earlier to get it in the middle and scale it up to however big we want. So I'm just going to have it this big. And this means that when the player's in this box, that's when they can open the door. So make this as big as you want. But I think that'll be good for me. And let's go to the level blueprint and then right click. And we want to get a begin overlap and an end overlap collision for this trigger box. So let's get the begin first. So search for begin overlap, add actor on begin overlap, and make sure it's for the trigger box that you just made. So my trigger box too. And then let's get an end overlap as well. And then once you've got these, you're gonna to want to go off the pressed key for interact and simply get a gate. And then for open, go to begin overlap and closed as end overlap. And what this means is that when E is pressed and the player is in the box collision, it will fire off this line of code here. So then on the exit of the gate, we're going to want to get a flip-flop, which basically toggles between the two matinees that we're going to have. So open and close. So then what we're going to want to do is get a reference to our matinee actor. So let's just minimize that like so. Move it over there. Find the matinee actors we just made and drag in both of them. So mine is matinee actor and matinee actor two. So select both of those and just drag and drop them into the blueprint. And then let's move these down here to underneath the flip flop and then drag off these, get a play and then also get a reverse. And then hook play up into A and reverse into B. And then you also wanna make sure that you hook the matinee actors up into both of these. So they both go into play and reverse. And then if you want a sound, you can. So you just simply go off this and do play sound at location and then plug that into both of these. But if you want separate sounds for opening and closing, you just do it accordingly. So obviously opening is play and closing is reverse. And then for the sound, I'm just gonna use one that I've already imported called, called door opening, which I'll also leave a link to down in the description below. And for the location, what we wanna do is as Matt and the actor, just get actor location. It can be either one, it doesn't matter. And then plug that in to the location there. And if you're doing this, you want to make sure that you actually put the matinee actor over the door as well, like so. So I'll just move them there. There we go. Then let's compile this, save it, and test to see if this works. So let's hit play, go in, walk over to our door, go in the box trigger, press E, moves the handle down, moves over. And then we can press E, and it closes it again. So now it's a bit glitchy with the handle as it's going slightly faster and it moves a bit further back so we can easily fix that. We just need to make sure that the door is in the right position so I got the door on the wrong angle. So we'll just redo that one, simple enough. So we find out which matinee actor was for the door and mine was two. So let's open that up. And again, you only need to do this if you messed it up the first time. So we'll just cut that movement track, move this back over here select the door, right click on the group, add new movement track. At the start, add a keyframe. At one second, add a keyframe. At the end, 
rotate your door into the correct open position this time. I think it was that one. Then add keyframe again. Hit play to test it. Yep, that works. Save that. It should already be referenced in here still. Yep, so we close and just test this again. So we just walk over, press E, it goes down and then it opens like so. And again, this is a bit glitchy, but you can set up your own ways of doing it to make it not as bad. So obviously you do it with your own models, your own ways, different timings, just mess about with it till it gets perfect for you and it should be good. But as you can see, we've got the base anyway, so it all opens and at the start, it goes down like that. But again, to get it perfectly, you just need to mess around with the timings for yourself and your own model and the sizes and stuff. And again, it's not gonna be as good as the scaling is off on this. But again, when you're doing it properly, you'll do the correct scale. So it should work better. But that'll be it for this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.